This is the DS26P Professional Vacuum Degassing System. Now this is a high quality system designed with the professional user in mind and as such it's got the performance, reliability and features that you would expect from a piece of industrial quality equipment. As you can see the system is fully integrated with the chamber and the vacuum pump both securely fixed to the system's base. The pump is on anti-vibration mounts and the system itself is on rubber feet to further reduce noise and prevent it from moving around. The power plant for the system is this high performance EC20 vacuum pump which is manufactured in Italy by DVP and is about as well made and reliable as vacuum pumps get. The degassing chamber itself has an internal capacity of 26 litres, making it suitable for degassing materials like resins in quantities of around about 10 litres at a time, or more expansive materials like silicons around about 5 litres at a time. This glycerin filled gauge shows the vacuum level inside the chamber, and this single valve on the side here is used to let air back into the chamber. The pump is connected to the chamber by this large diameter vacuum hose and fittings for maximum performance. This clear acrylic lid provides fantastic visibility into the chamber. It's got a handle allowing it to be easily lifted on and off and the handle can also be used to store the lid on the back of the chamber whilst loading and unloading. A vacuum degassing system like this is most commonly used for removing air entrapment from RTV silicon rubbers and casting resins in between mixing and then pouring or casting them. Common resin types that you may use these with include polyesters, epoxies, and polyurethanes. But a system like this can be particularly helpful for removing air entrapment from water clear casting resins to ensure a bubble free finish, or when working with high viscosity toughened resin systems. RTV silicons are very viscous and are therefore prone to air entrapment when mixing. In fact, degassing them does tend to remove an awful lot of trapped air. And this will improve the tear strength and the durability of the molds and also reduce the chances of surface blemishes and air bubbles on the molds. The system itself is incredibly easy to use. Thanks to the non-return valve that's built into the vacuum pump, there are no valves to open and close manually between the pump and the chamber. And this also means there's no risk of accidentally damaging the pump by switching it off while a valve is left open. To ensure materials are degassed as quickly as possible, this vacuum pump has been optimized to reach high vacuum levels very, very quickly. And that together with other features such as the large diameter hose and fittings does mean that the chamber is down at 99% vacuum in around about 35 seconds, which is quite remarkable. Another great feature of the EC20 pump used in this system is this oil mist separator, which filters and recovers oil mist emitted by the pump during operation. As a result, in normal operation, negligible oil vapour should be emitted into the room. So it makes it ideal for using this system in more sensitive environments such as schools, labs and more confined workshops. Using the system could not be simpler. If you have purchased one of these then we would always suggest reading the user guide before use but the basic setup and operation is as follows. When you first receive the system it will require some simple assembly to fit the chamber and the pump to the base plate and also secure the various vacuum fittings. So follow the instructions that come with the system to do that. Once it's assembled, one very important thing that you will need to do is to fill the pump with oil. When it's shipped to you from new, it won't have any oil in it. So using an Allen key to open the filler, and then we're just going to fill the pump with the oil that's supplied so that we get to the halfway point on the side glass. Connect the vacuum pump to your main supply using the power lead included. Start by lifting the lid off the chamber and we can hang the lid on the back while we load the material. Having mixed your casting resin or silicon, load the material into the degassing chamber and replace the lid. Remember if you're using materials like silicon, then they're going to expand considerably when you degas them, so make sure you're using a container that's considerably larger. Make sure that the air inlet valve is closed which means it's at right angles to the chamber. To start degassing, simply switch the vacuum pump on. As soon as you do, you'll see the vacuum gauge on the front of the chamber move, showing that the air pressure is dropping inside the chamber. Sometimes you might need to press lightly on the lid to make the initial seal. Different materials will take different amounts of time to degas. In the case of an RTV silicon like this, it will take a few minutes whilst the material expands and expands until it reaches a point where it will self-collapse. 
After this collapse, the majority of the degassing has occurred, but if you can still see bubbles coming out of the material, then some degassing is still happening and you may choose to wait longer. In any case, it's essential that you stop degassing and use the material whilst it is still comfortably inside its pot life or working time. To stop the degassing process, switch off the vacuum pump and then open the air inlet valve to let air back into the chamber. The chamber is fitted with a filter on this inlet to prevent dust and dirt being sucked into the chamber and you can control the flow to prevent too much disturbance. Once the chamber is back up to normal pressure, you can remove the lid and remove the material. It's a good idea to close the inlet valve now, ready for your next run. The vacuum pump runs on a 240 volt main supply. So if you don't have a 220 to 240 volt power supply in your country, then this pump won't be suitable. For countries where you do have a 240 volts main supply, then the system is available with a choice of power leads. Make sure you choose the right lead for your region at the time of ordering. This whole system is so well designed and built that it should provide years of trouble-free service even in the busiest of workshop environments. However, because it's built by Easy Composites here in the UK, if you do need any spares whatsoever from common parts such as the lid or replacement seals through to any other nut or bolt on the whole system, then we can certainly provide that for you. So I hope this video has given you a nice introduction to the system, the performance and the quality of the system. But if you have any other questions whatsoever, then please get in touch with our technical sales team and we'd be happy to help.